In the South China Seas, extensive tropical waters, the miraculous nature sustains each life form. site, known for its distinctive name and shape. The creature sitting on the seabed is demure, like a blossoming lily, which gives it the name. Despite the moniker, the sea lily is actually a marine benthonic echinoderm. Using its ciri, it can attach itself to the rocks or yield to the force of ocean currents and drift along freely. The sea lily's tender body is composed of countless ossicles. It can maintain remarkable flexibility and stand elegantly as well. arms radiate from the stalk, extending to all directions. The thick covering of pinules can help secure the body to the ocean bottom and serve as an important tool to acquire food. arms with pinules on them form a web-like structure, capturing various plankton that float with currents. The finger-like appendages catch and kill the prey. In the arms are ambulacral grooves all the nutrients captured by the arms are sent along the grooves to the final destination. That is the sea lily's mouth. In such a tranquil blue realm, the sea lily has made use of the sea and its intricate anatomy to quietly destroy and devour its prey. Once satiated, it will tuck in the pinules to resemble a wilting flower. This indicates its readiness to fall into a slumber. With all of the vicissitudes on land, generations of sea lilies have multiplied at the seabed. As beautiful as its name, the sea lily endures and thrives. <laughs> 